Hi, I'm Wyatt Cash with Scoop News Group. We're excited to be here today talking to Sonali Shah, Chief Product Officer at Invicti, a company specializing in web application security. Sonali, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Wyatt. Well, over the last 18 months, federal agencies have increasingly adopted web applications to interface with their employees and constituents. However, while adopting more digital solutions, traditional security controls have not always been able to keep pace with the vulnerabilities that these applications introduce into the network environment. So Sonali, let me start by asking, what should agency leaders really prioritize with web application security solutions in addition to their existing endpoint and network security tools? So as we know, the number of applications used by both the public and the private sector has exploded over the last few years, and therefore web applications have become a prime target for attackers. In fact, two of every five breaches originates from a web application. And, uh, you know, in 2022, while the rest of us were focused on, sorry, 2020, while the rest of us were focused on COVID, hackers stole twice the number of records that they did in the previous year. Mm. And, you know, one doesn't need to wear a mask, leave the house, or even wear pants to launch a cyber attack, right? So it's, it's for this reason, it's to really protect the confidential information from being stolen, that it's imperative that government agencies secure not only their users and their endpoints, but also their web applications and APIs. Well, how can using modern web application security tools help agencies meet requirements from things like the continuous diagnostic and mitigation program and other security mandates? Yeah. So if we just sort of take a, a step back and think about traditional solutions, right? So um, you know, in the past, you might have had an agency might have had a pen tester come and test the application once, maximum twice a year. That's a very manual process, would often take weeks to schedule and complete. Then you would have a PDF that would be given over the developer and said, okay, here's everything you need to fix. Um, and then there'd be all this back and forth between security and developers on, are these false positives? Are they real? How do I remediate them? You know, and because of that sort of manual process, there was no way to have continuous diagnostics and continuous mitigation, right? Um, and so that's why I think it's really important that agencies look for more modern approaches to securing their, you know, application portfolio. Um, so what do I need by, by modern? Well, it, it's important to use tools that allow you to first identify all of your assets. Right, so we are noticing, um, particularly in the in the private sector, uh, companies don't even security teams don't even know about fifteen to twenty percent of their application footprint. You know, it could be a marketing team that launched an application the security team didn't even know about. Right, so you know, the, I think the first thing for modern application security is discovering your entire tax surface. Right, then scanning everything, and scanning in a way that produces zero false positives, right? And that's the only way you're gonna gain the trust of the developers and get them to sort of efficiently remediate the vulnerabilities. Um, and then once you've found everything, you also need to have an automated workflow so that tickets are found or vulnerabilities are found, tickets are opened up in ticketing tools like Jira and developers never have to leave their environment to be able to receive the information, fix the vulnerability, have it automated retest, automatically retested, and then developers get the confirmation in their environment. So that automation, sort of, I would say, coverage, accuracy, and automation are really the three key tools for uh, modern web application security. We'll talk a little more maybe about how the private sector is evolving their security approach around web applications, and what can federal leaders learn from their industry peers? Yeah. So, you know, I think the, the private sector is faster to jump on buzzwords like shift left and, you know, DevSecOps. Um, but what we found is that doesn't necessarily make them more secure. And I think the biggest learning we've seen from the private sector is that application security needs to be continuous and comprehensive. 
So when you think about shift left, right? So there's been this big movement to shift left, meaning secure your applications in development, right? Um, using things like static analysis, SCA, all great things to have, but that's not the full cycle, right? So you're missing the 80% of applications that are already in production and that may not be continuously developed, right? Um, with uh, you know static analysis, you are missing applications that you may have purchased from a third-party vendor. So it's really important uh, to use a use tools that cover the left and the right and that enable this continuous security. And I think that's really the, the biggest uh, learning. That's a great point. Um, Lassa, can you share how government agencies are in fact strengthening their security posture by implementing web application security tools into their security stack? Yeah, so we have, you no, know, we secure tens of thousands of web applications for our government customers in the DOD, civilian, and intelligence agencies. Um, so we've got a pretty wide footprint. Uh, let me give you an example of a agency we work with. Um, so this was a prominent civilian agency that reached out to us after the solar winds attack. They were compromised. They didn't know how many additional vulnerabilities or even web applications they had. Um, so they chose Invicti um, because we were able to meet the requirements around continuous diagnostics, continuous mitigation. Um, so we were able to use our application discovery tool that gave them the confidence that we really were able to see their entire attack surface. We then, once we had that inventory, we're able to scan regular scans. So one of the things that's really important about this continuous security is you wanna make sure that you're not continuously having to go in and manually set, all right, you know, this week I wanna I want to scan and then next week go ahead and set it up again. You wanna be able to set policies, whether it's, you know, kick off a scan every time a you know, piece of code has been submitted or kick off a scan just nightly or weekly or monthly, whatever it might be, you want that sort of um, set and forget type of mentality so that scanning just happens. Because if you've got to do it in an automated fashion, I mean, sorry, in a manual fashion, there's no way it's going to happen. You know, everybody, whether it's developers or application teams, they're just too busy. Um, so they really like the fact that we had this, you know, continuous scanning the other thing um, that really attracted them to our solution is that we've got something called proof-based scanning. And this is something that we built a decade and a half ago. And what we do is for you know, nearly, I think over 90% of the high severity vulnerabilities, we're actually able to show proof of exploit. Mm -hmm. So you know, I was talking about kind of the old way of doing things where PDFs would be, you know, go back and forth, you'd have this friction between dev and sec, now, and one of the things that, that you know, we heard from the agency, they're like, wow, you nailed it, when we showed them the proof-based scanning. Because now developers can see the proof of exploit and now they know they can trust our findings. And so that's really, so not only have we been able to kind of make application security continuous, we've also made mitigation continuous and more efficient by reducing that friction between dev second ops. So it, it just, you know, one of the, the great quotes we often hear from customers is it just works, right? And they're able to go from scanning maybe, you know, 10, 15% of their applications to 80% of their applications with very little increase uh, in, in uh, the, the resources required. Well, that makes uh, tremendous sense. Well, Sonali Shah, thank you so much for sharing some of your insights with us today about web application and web application security. And uh, I'd like to thank our audience as well for tuning in today. Thank you.